Hello, Gary Schultz here with another project for musicians who like to tinker with microprocessors. I've built a metronome display unit that derives a beat and bar count from any digital audio workstation by tapping into the MIDI timecode issued by the workstation, therefore fully in sync. I'm using Sonar, but any workstation software would do. The prototype uses the Arduino Nano processor, but any Arduino processor would do. This fully built up unit's got a Uno board in it, but that's more so for the stability for the shield, so I could plug the MIDI cable into it. This unit has three bayonet type in and output ports, as well as four status LEDs on the top and beat and bar counter on the bottom. The use cases for sessions where timing is important and having a bar count reference is useful. So not so much for bands tracking live off the floor, but more so for multi-track overdub sessions where one group of musicians lays the bands and then others come in later to lay vocals or whatever. It's a solid reference point. The tick counter LED provides a pre-roll tempo. It shows the players what the tempo is going to be when we hit record. When I hit play, and in this case I'm starting on bar 5, you notice the display will jump right to bar 5. On the left we're counting beats, we're counting bars on the right, and we've got the flashing LED status up above as well. So we know where we are. This is because we're snooping the song position pointer from the MIDI stream and then setting the display to where we started. Always in perfect sync. Use case is, perhaps there's a guitar part, that's to come in at bar 33, set the workstation to 31, comes up in the display, the player knows exactly where they are in the song and when to start playing. Also good for voiceover sessions, where it provides a talent with a solid reference to where they are on the track. It responds to time signature changes and tempo changes in real time. Tick count is showing pre-roll tempo. When you roll, you've got the quarter note counter, and you have a bar counter on the other side, quarter note flasher. Beat and bar counter on the bottom. Two of the cables go to remote flashers, which I'll show later. The third one goes to a switch, turns on the blue LED, and can be programmed to do anything. In this scenario, when I hit the switch, it reset the bar counter. Now, it is still keeping track of where the song is in the background, but it's given me a new counter that can be used to track a 32-bar rest or a 16-bar vamp. When I hit the switch again, the bar counter resumes to the song position. Over here, I have a remote flasher displaying beat and bars. When laying beds, each player has this visual indicator rather than the traditional click in the cans. In the vocal isolation booth, the singer has their flasher as well, and they can visualize beats and bars. Here's a lyric sheet that's been annotated with the bar count. So if the bar counter is on this side of the glass, the singer can quickly suss out what they should be singing and when they should be singing it. Because the beds, well, Verse 1, verse 2, and verse 3 all sound the same. It's the lyrics that's going to differentiate them. One side note about the difference between a visual indicator flashing LEDs and the click in the can is groove and feel players tend to like the visual indicator better than the harsh mistress of the click track. There you have it. 